everybody and welcome back to my gaming for good challenge here on Calmston Farms with the Baker Cake Challenge. So we've got a few things done. We're into March now and we did a couple of contracts, sold um, a lot of uh, strawberries. So I'm thinking it's time just looking at the uh, production side of things. I'm thinking it's time we moved on to trying to get milk. So I'm thinking I'm going to use uh, my money here to go and buy the uh, cow barn. Um, so we'll probably do that. That will give us this lovely grass field as well that we can uh, bale up and turn into silage. So we are going to buy that. Wow, we have bought ourselves the cow barn on the field. We'll just have a check in here to see if there are any... Nope, no equipment there just now. Not getting many contracts at the moment either. Um, let's go down to the contracts a minute here. We've got one cultivating contract and we are in the growing season or the planting season, should I say? But no planting contracts. So we're going to leave this guy up here because uh, I'm going to use him to load up the flower on here because this flower is going to be sold once it's full. Uh, we shall nip down to our little guy and we shall go and take a look at the cow barn Oops. try not to hit the which is just straight down the road should be yeah that one that bit right down there so hope everybody's keeping well and enjoying your your th well it's Thursday today so hopefully by the time you see this you'll be enjoying your your Friday now I am going the right way I hope yeah okay so here we are so this is the cow pasture here let's go and have a, a look see so yeah I'm thinking we've got some grass here that we could potentially yeah it's ready to harvest 23% not even not fertilized so we're not going to get too much off it that's a water, water trough full of water there. Jump over the wall here. Oh, we've got a nice little caravan here. So I'm thinking we are going to have to try and get some of the cows started. So we're going to want cows that are good for milk. Oh, it's quite... Oh, this is quite cool. A little garage. A little garage storage area. Nice. See the kind of storage we have here. Quite a lot of storage, actually. Nice bit of space here. The chickens are doing fine. They're producing eggs really nicely as well. So we're going to have to check on them soon just to make sure that everything's going well. So we've got, I'm assuming this is uh, going by uh, Jessla's uh, latest video. This is the milk. And um, there's water here as well. I'm assuming it's water. Do not use this water for drinking. So it is water. Uh, this must be... Oh. Okay, that's a little silo. Don't know what you can put in that yet, but we'll soon figure that out. So, let's shut the gate here, and we shall... <coughs> excuse me. 
So which is the best ones for milk? This breed is used for dairy farm produces milk. Brown Swiss produces milk. Alright, these ones can be sold. Right, so these two, the Brown Swiss and the Holstein. Uh, but to do, will we go with calves because they're cheap at the moment, or cheaper at the moment, or will we get maybe ten of ten of the older ones? Because once they're what are they, twelve months? I'm thinking if we get how much is that? seventy grand? Wow. Okay, there is no way I'm paying seventy grand for them. Um. Ooh, it's going to take a while, isn't it? Ten months. Maybe I get five. Oh no, I did sixty, didn't I? I said it's going to do ten, so it's eleven grand for ten of them. The fee of eight hundred. So if we buy them, we'll have to get some sort of. Yeah, we'll buy them. And we shall buy ten of them. So that's yeah, that'll keep us. Now this is going to be interesting. I have never done cows, so this is going to be completely new to me. Why can't I shut the gate? Ah, there we go. Right, I've not done cows before, so this is going to be new to me. Uh, let's see what we've got here. What do I have to feed them? Would I? Right, um, I can feed them hay or grass, 40%, hay at 80%, TMR. How much is TMR? Uh, be good to start them off on TMR, because uh, I'm wanting to turn the bales into silage bales. And I've also, when, when watching Jessla's, um, videos he's done the the field by the shop as well so that will be interesting if we get that up we can cut this as well and turn this into bales so that will be interesting that'll be something we'll be doing so that's what i was going to say tmr let's, let's see how much tmr is going to be in the big bags if we got TMR, TMR is 360 per thousand litres. This is going to take a lot, aren't they? They're going to take a lot. Uh, I don't think it actually tells you how much. Does it tell you how much food they take? No, it doesn't actually tell you how much you need to give them. It's in FS19, it would tell you average amount of food for the year um, <clears throat> right we're going to need quite a few bags aren't we right let's go back up and get the trailer and I'll head to the shop it's pretty exciting actually I'm doing cows we're, we're really getting forward with this. I'm wanting to try and do one step at a time and fill every bar up uh, for the the cakes. So I've got the strawberries all filled, so all strawberries now will be sold. Uh, flour I can't keep up because I'm wanting to sell the bread at the moment. thinking of changing this little guy over at some point as well so hopefully we can get something a little bit bigger that will be able to do field work Let's see there's not much in the way of planting uh, contracts actually there's no contracts for very many contracts at all which is only this one for cultivating so go up to the shop and uh, I shall see you guys there welcome back everybody so I've got 10 bags of TMR here now 
and we are going to head back and we are going to feed the cows and just double check on what the chickens are doing or how they're doing and I think we'll get on to cutting the grass outside the shop we need to get that bailed up and, and everything so um, that probably going to be all leased equipment so it's now coming up three o'clock in the afternoon so we get the cutting of the grass done at least before it gets too dark that's the hope and hopefully we'll get some more contracts up because obviously having the the milk being produced by the cows we are going to need a dairy and then once we get sugarcane which I've never dealt with before we are going to need a sugar mill so we are coming up to the back road is it the back road in there I don't want to go the other way because it goes up a hill and I'm just a bit worried that this tractor is not strong enough to pull all this up that hill. So, all our cows are lying down quite peacefully. Well, almost all of them. Or they're just lazy, one of the two. Right. This is quite exciting for me because I have never done this before with cows, so... Um, in FS19 I only just started to try them out on my Staravites uh, episodes, uh, but never actually fully got into doing cows, so... Um, I assume we go in here to feed them. Oh yeah, okay. I love the animation of the bag. Right, so that gave us 7,000. Oh! Oh, okay, it's going in on its own. Oh, that's handy, you know. Oh! Oh, so I don't need to unload it with the, the forks. That's, that's, that'll do me. Right. So we've got total mixed ration at 10,000. That's not going to last very long at all. Uh, so. <sighs> wow. Okay. They're going to cost an absolute fortune. That's only for 20. Wow. Big eaters. So we'll need to try and get some maybe grass. Maybe I get some bales actually. How much have I got? 46,000. Uh, big bales, oh, is it, did it say hay? I think it said hay, didn't it? Hay bales, right, okay, bales, hay bales. Uh, what else we got here? We got straw, we can't use that, but we got grass bales. So we got a square bale of hay. Get eight of them, maybe, I don't know. Is that 8,000 litres, is it? 8 metres squared, uh, cubed? Yeah. That's 64,000 litres of... Wow, okay, that's a lot. Ah, do, 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 do. what are we going to do here? Because... If I take that, I'm going to have to... Get them loaded up onto the trailer and... I tell you what, we'll hold off on that just now. Oh, look, oh, harvester. Oh, a harvester. I'm going to need one of those at some point, but not any time soon. Um, that's quite a good price. Don't get me wrong, 11,000 for 62,000 litres, but 64, should I say. Getting them to and from, uh, I, I would need to lease at the the trailer to auto load uh, or I would just have to do it manually right we are looking for more um, we're not going to need anything extravagant 
I'm thinking just getting something like that, 4.4 meters. Um, Three point one. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a no-brainer, really. Uh, it's eighteen thousand. Do I? Do I, How often am I going to do do this? Am I going to make my money back on this, or if I just buy that and then I'll lease it just now, um, and I'll. Yeah. Right. Ooh, quite a tight turning space. It's where one of those uh, swivel trailers would be handy. Right, what we're going to do is we'll take the this back over to the shop and we shall get some grass work done. Yeah, I'll get the, the grass cut in the the meadow there and the shop and I shall get that bailed up and wrapped so hopefully we'll have uh, silage bales soon, we can sell them to the biogas and hopefully we get a good bit of income off it I've got to be very careful once I complete stage one because on stage two, any area that I buy, any equipment I buy, I must keep. Um, but I, I still think I'm allowed to lease equipment until uh, um, till I buy it. So nice big grass field here as well. That would be quite nice. Weeds are coming through nicely as well. I don't think we get weeding contracts. I've not seen any. So, not sure if we get weeding contracts. Watch out, dear. Get off the road. Okay. The bouncing deer. Well, yeah, these weeds have really come through. I would be expecting to get a weeding contract or something. Like major weed removal. Right. We're coming up to the shop. I'll get the pick up our little mower and we'll leave the trailer there because we'll load up with some hay bales. I should be able to pick them up with the pallet forks, provided they don't go absolutely haywire and fire away at me. This trailer is not an auto load trailer, and I don't really want to be leasing out another trailer. I'd rather just, you know, pretty much buy one, but it also depends on how often I'm actually. Oh, wait a minute, gotta get rid of the weight. It also depends on how often I'm going to be doing grass. Um, obviously, I've got the cows, so I can feed them grass. Um, which is only going to give me 40%, but... Right, now, I need to figure out how I get to my field. Or the field, should I say. It's over here. Right. Uh, why am I disconnecting that? Unfold. Uh, turn on, put down. Now we'll get all this done. I'll probably maybe jump cut this or time lapse it. I don't know yet. I'll decide what I'm doing once I've edited everything. 
but we are officially mowing to get our first bales done. I think it's our, it is our first bales, yes. First bales, eh? Trying to bang it at the tree. Excellent. Looks like a void there, doesn't it? <laughs> so we'll need to windrow this as well, I imagine. gonna have plenty mowing to do here a lot of uh, bit of frame rate issues there, it was kind of stuttering, so I don't know if that's something to do with this field being close to the, the edge of the map or not, but... Right, so I will crack on and get this done and the other field done, and I shall catch you in a little while, guys. Welcome back everybody. So I managed to get the two fields done uh, with the grass cutting which was the area around where the shop is on my cow pasture and I have uh, tedded both of them so far so we're on the tedding on this one and I fast forwarded by one day because um, by the time I was getting to doing the tedding on the first field, halfway through it was pretty dark, so I might actually change it into uh, maybe two or three day months, because uh, now I've got contracts, I've got a couple of them as you can see on the map there, they're working away, one, I've got two fertilising and one sowing. So I just try and get this tedding done, get it all wind road and bailed might not be in this episode but um the sowing contract is going through a lot of seed um the tank for the the so the cedar doesn't actually hold a lot of seeds anyway and uh, i've had to refill the fertilizer spreader as well so this should be done soon might have to refill the, the cedar again yet but uh, yeah I'm wanting to get all this done for my cows my cows are starting to get hungry uh, starting to look a bit skinny uh, so I'm wanting to get them filled up with as much hay as possible to keep them going so everything seems to be working out at the moment so these contracts will take me in a good bit of money as well And, uh, yeah, that'll be giving us the opportunity to... Uh, do I hit the wall? Do I hit the wall? Uh, give us the opportunity to... Purchase uh, some equipment, maybe. Oh, get stuck on the wall. So, I haven't seen anything come up in the... In the uh, second hand shop yet that I'm interested in. Um, not needing a combine at the moment. But I did have an idea of where I could put the other production facilities, being the dairy and the sugar mill, I'm led to believe. Uh, so I'm planning on putting them down where the chickens are once I get to doing that 
that's probably where they're going to go. A few chunks of grass missed, just trying to get it done. Uh, obviously those bits I wasn't paying attention on. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Turn that off a minute. What have we got here? Um, someone that's not wanting to do the job. What are we at here? 85. Finish the job. Yeah, I've got a lot of work on this one to do yet. The the workers don't like to go right up to the edges on some of these fields, so some work left for me to finish. But yeah, they're getting there. So I don't know what the next facility will be. Um, as we all know, field 23 is free, but I'm not wanting to do that um, because uh, that's kind of class is cheating, really, if you're... How on earth did I miss that big chunk of grass? I really wasn't paying attention when I did this. Um, so I don't want to really go down that route of buying it for nothing. Um, but we do need to get sugar beets done. But at the moment, I want to look after my chickens and my cows. So I'm going to concentrate on them for a bit, make sure that they're all up to full feed. And make sure that they're all healthy. I'll get this last bits done. Once that... Um, contract is finished on 18 I will move them over to 13 and pick up another sewing contract uh, or another fertilizing contract if there is one it should be done by now actually 94 almost I'm not really worried about doing any uh, decorating or anything around where my production facilities are because um, I should have done that at the start to be honest when I had all that money but I never thought about it at the time but it is what it is and I'm happy with it as it is. I want to get the um, water water tank uh, or the little water trough moved and I want to get another greenhouse into that area there because I've got a lot of I've now got a lot of pallets of flour as well that I need to remove um, let's get this bit down here and I'll come back for that bit so yeah everything's producing well I'm just wondering if that greenhouse has actually run out of water hmm Oh no, so plenty of water. So yeah, if we go back to that screen a second, my idea for the cake, uh, the strawberries are completely done, so the next thing I want to do is fill it up fully with butter, um, milk and sugar will be the last one because it's going to take the longest. Uh, so if I can get uh, my next production facility being the dairy, get the milk um, turn that into butter and fill that up with butter fill the whole thing up with eggs and um, then fill it all up with milk and anything excess will just get sold until I get the sugar beets done and uh, you never know we might actually make the second stage I'll need to pay the loan off as well that I've got. Uh, I might actually just max that loan out and just uh, buy equipment that I need um, after I've finished uh, stage one. Buy the equipment I need, get a, a field and uh, yeah. 
and then just start harvesting that and then see what, where, where it takes us from there and see if we can beat this challenge oh no I forgot that these run out of fuel and I can't restart it because yeah this happened to this happened to Jessla when he did his video and uh, what are you doing um right i'm gonna have to think about this now where are we down here right that one is completed take that one got that sewing contract um i'll accept that one right where what are you doing right so we'll get this guy out of this field, oh, it's this way I want to go anyway. Uh, get this one down to the shop, get it refilled, get it onto field 13. And then I'll try and figure out what I'm going to do. Uh, might need to. Uh, I don't know if they have. What are we at? 68,000 now. I might want to see about. Oh no, wait, where's the gate? Oh, it's up there. Might want to see about getting a uh, mobile. Uh, fuel tank just on the safe side uh, because we're running on fast fuel usage I uh, don't seem to really pay attention to it very often and then this happens so this is not going to be good so if we get this guy over to the we'll just cut through there right uh, can I get them to go to the shop from here set destination uh, just there and there and you gonna move and it's moving right we'll go and have a look at the the shop anything else come up no nothing's come up right let's go and have a look for do, do, do. would it be under uh, never had to think about this before is it under miscellaneous no animals is there any tankers here that carry fuel nope nope and do we not have anything that carries is that wait water any of these carry fuel uh, oh no where what am I what am I actually looking for oh dear it wouldn't be under trailers because they're just like grain trailers and stuff um, I thought it would have been one of these it just says transporting liquids but the I need to read up on the, the icons I think on what it's not fuel I don't think that's fuel Hmm, I'll think of something. I'll just leave that then just now and I'll finish that up off camera. Um just gotta try and figure out what's happening. Five hundred and forty five litres left. Right. Uh we shall nip over to the chickens and see how they're getting on. Well, we've got one full pallet there, we're doing okay with them. Uh, just go down and see see the well, we've still got enough TMR to keep us going until I get some right they're going to need feeding and I've got bags but I've got no tractors available at the moment so yeah so what I'll probably do is maybe just 
uh, get this guy up to the shop, get some more fertilizer, and then get him down to field 13. Oh, that's a bit of a nightmare. I did not realize that was going to happen. Right. Okay, fertilizer. Uh, fertilizer. I'll get uh, two of them. Right. Fill this big boy up and then get him down to field 13. I will need to refill with the seeds as well. Uh, I've got a couple of bags left up at the my farm. Uh, the first farm that I bought. So I'll need to get something to clean these vehicles with. It's looking very grubby too. I've got the money. I may as well do it. Um, now, I can cut through field 10. Because there is a, f a gate on field 10. Let's get in here a bit. Ay ay ay, look at the weeds. That's a lot of weeds. Wow. I can cut through here. Do we get weeding contracts? I don't know if we do. But that's a lot of weeds. A lot of herbicide needed there, eh? Huh? A nice grass field that number ten, but it's quite expensive, so. Right, let's get to field 13. Yeah, this is the stream that uh, Mayor Cobbler was talking about. To just further upstream there, you can fill up for nothing. Um, but quite a distance to travel for me for water, so I'm just going to leave it as is at the moment. Right, let's get this started up here. Right, on you go. Right, how are we getting on with our empty vehicle? Right, uh, okay, so stop him just now. Let's get him onto that large piece of the field over there. No, he's going to run out of, uh, he's going to run out very soon, so, just get this, a couple of those bits here, really not keen on these tractors that swivel in the middle, they're great for turning, but they're not great for other things, I mean, I've got to admit, if it hadn't have been for the swivel, to be honest, uh, I wouldn't have been able to get it into the, underneath the shelter, because, Right, straighten up. Um, I wouldn't have been able to get it in the in the shelter at all. Oh, never known it to jump the gap before. Uh, because I have to have the bags sitting directly close to the the actual cedar box. Um, if it's at, if the bags are at the back here, it won't work, which is quite annoying. But never mind. I'm thinking we'll just get these contracts finished. Um, so I'll get these contracts and that done. And uh, first what we'll do is I we'll might as well go in and buy the... I can't even remember where that is now. Still trying to memorize where everything is. I know people are going to be screaming at me. It's there, it's there. Um... It's not there at all, it's in here. <laughs> right, let's go to the map, uh, and I'm going to jump to the... 
Let me jump to the cow barn. Would it be better at the cow barn, I think? I need a water tank anyway. Right, so I, can we put a pressure washer down here somewhere? Yeah, we could probably put one. We could probably put one here somewhere. Or even if I get it close enough. Right. Um, tools. This one. Uh, can I put it in here, maybe? Quite nice to put it up near this junk pile, eh? I don't want to actually put it too close to the shed, because if I put it too close to the shed, I might not have any space to turn. So what I'll do is I'll just put it... I'll just put it there. There, that'll do. Perfect. Now the containers, there are containers for fuel, but I don't think there's any portable ones in this section. No. Right guys, I'm going to think I'm going to leave it here and uh, get these contracts done, maybe pick up some more, get this uh, tractor redone, and hopefully by the next time you come in here, I shall have a barn full of... Um, well, either this barn, because I'm this or this will be full of uh, hay bales. Uh, also, I think I need to put straw in here as well, if I remember correctly. But I don't know where to put it. If anybody can tell me how I get straw in here, because it is asking for straw. I'm not sure a hundred percent myself. As I say, I've never done um I've never done cows before, so or really delved in deep with them, but I know the feeding trough I don't see a water trough anywhere. because uh, it doesn't ask for water. But it's definitely asking for straw and I don't know how to get it in here. So if you guys can think of something, leave it in the comments for me down below. And uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Yes, definitely hit the like button. The cows are telling you. So if you hit the like button, guys, that would be greatly appreciated. And uh, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.